Well, welcome to my let's play for Falling Stars, and someone actually says that I do this because it hasn't been done yet before. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this too much. Um, I'll put on a hard, just cause I've beaten the game on normal like twice now, so I also played on the highest difficulty. I'll be I probably won't be writing out my own documents. Because they usually don't help for very long anyway, because most of the enemies get multiple sets, so... Forget that. And yeah, after this episode, I'll try to cut out all the uh, loading screens. <laughs> Summoned you? Yep, we did. Great importance, huh? Well, grave, whatever. Trusted with a mission... A mission? I sense a dark part waking in the world of Dazzlon. Something deeply disturbing is going on. What is it? The delicate balance between good and evil is threatened. I need you to investigate this world and discover the source of the dark power. All by myself? Yes, you'll continue to Dazzlon alone. I cannot come with you. As the guardian of the spiritual realm, I must remain here. You replace the soul of a young girl. The people of Dazlan will recognize you as Luna. I hear your mission that her soul return to her own body. I understand. Report back to me with your findings. Go forth, young spirit. There's no time to spare. Um, we'll get used to that later. Um, here's the save point. Let's get out of the way now. Let's try and change outfits. Yeah, I know. Know that too. Of course, if people don't like you in this game, they won't talk to you or give you the best deals either. It sort of bites. Yeah, I know this game's butt ugly. It don't matter, complete some of the stuff, we're gonna have to change outfits again anyway. And yeah, I'm only gonna be doing like 20, 30 minute long videos. Probably covering the better strategies, I guess. Yeah, it's also the place you're gonna go to when we, hopefully when we die, because I'm probably guessing we're going to die. Enemies hit hard in this game. At least early on. You can tie that somewhat by um grinding out cash and then buying your stat upgrades, that's actually possible. <coughs> Ugh. Throat feels like it's full of crap. Technically, winning battles doesn't make your pet stronger in this game. You have to fight battles and expend your experience points back at home. So it does and it doesn't, I guess. 
Oh, maybe we can't go everywhere we want to yet, either. Must be my Uncle Matt. I hope that explosion didn't hurt him. Or check to go see if he's okay. You know, my picture doesn't look anything like my outfit, and running really depletes your stamina bar very quickly. Which bites. Even trying to do like a walk hop thing doesn't help make it last that much longer. Ah, oh, my darling Luling, what brings you down here? And I'm sorry for that. Like, I'm feeling a bit congested and sick lately. I heard a lot of explosion coming from this hill. I was worried about you. All that. I was just performing a mining procedure. It makes it easier to ex excavate the various minerals. I sound like you spending all your time in this abandoned mine. Are you sure it's safe? Yes, yes, don't worry about me, Luna. I'm so close to finishing my work, I can't stop now. You've been acting differently since you began working here. And look, your skin has turned completely green. I'm concerned about your health. Ha! Ridiculous. I'm perfectly healthy. Although I am a bit exhausted. Could you do me a favor? What do you need? I need to buy five energy po- I need you to buy five energy potions for me. Right here are four moons to pay for them. Yeah, it's too important to your neighbors. Screw your neighbors. They worry about every little detail in your outfit. Oftentimes, they don't have anything useful to say either. Oh, I can't go through that door yet. It goes to another area. down here and buy some energy potions. Oh, I hate walking. So slow. Hi, Bobo. Hi there, Luna. How's your kitten? She's always up to mischief. Sometimes I have no idea what she wants. I just want to take good care of Princess, but she keeps running off. You really love your kitten, don't you? Yeah, she's just so cute. No, I need you to do me a favor. I'm listening. My kitten princess has run out of food. I go buy some myself, but I'm afraid to leave the castle. Afraid of what? If I leave princess alone, she might get stuck somewhere. Again. So I'm to buy some pet food for you? That'd be great. Only 10 units of pet food. If you agree, I'll give you 1,000 moons for your troubles. What do you say? I'll help. No problem. Thanks so much. Down here. So he likes this. Good morning, artist. Hi, Luna. What's new? All the usual. My boat business is going well. There's plenty of time for me relaxing under the sun. Artist, are you just going to be. Are you sure you just aren't being lazy? Ugh, getting tongue tied here. Luna, who doesn't like to rest after a hard day's work? I see your point, but you love working with boats. Even so. There's nothing better than relaxing afterwards. So Luna, what brings you here? Let's go on a boat ride. Great idea, Luna. I'll call Ollie and Allie to race us. I love seeing them lose. So let's try our best to beat them. That should be easy. Together we're a good team. Oh man. I should pick trade. Yeah, now we gotta wait a whole bunch of time for this to load. Explain how to do it. Uh, yeah, control the oars with your various both sticks. It's gonna probably take me a couple tries to work out how best to do this again. There's technique to doing this quickly and efficiently. 
I never um, remember it the first time I tried, despite the fact I actually usually prefer this game over the other ones. Steady. I hate trying to get these. I remember one time I almost got a perfect score trying to do this. I could do it. I'd have to go hunt down their side though. I don't care to do that. If you do a far enough back, you can do a charge right into it. But if you're off on your aim, I think it can't work very well. So. Ah. Push in, push in, push in. There's one more, I win. Guaranteed, because I'll have seven. Come on. Ah. Why is the current so strong on this one? Come on. Come on. Just a little bit further. Ah. See the last one. We're gonna go for nine of twelve. <sighs> There's no point in buying the potions. It's not much of a point to it, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear her. I got the, one of the mutts upstairs right now. I don't have too much to offer, but I'll show you what I have. That's okay. I could sell something to you. Oh, for running and stuff too, huh? I guess I'll take them all then. Oop. 
bring the pet food? I sure did, here you go. Thanks for that. As I promised, 1,000 moons. Excellent, I'm glad I could help. Some your pet too. Let's have a look then. Nothing. Pretty sure there's another quest we can go on. Back here, do I have to head or talk to Matt first? Sometimes I get the order events confused. You're a good trader, aren't you? I'm always trying to get a bargain. I'm proud you can help me. I need to buy a new boat from Bo, but he always charges so much. Can you negotiate a good deal with him? Except, sure, I'll see what I can do. Marvelous, I just need you to find out his price. Turn here when you've spoken to Bobo. Ah, great. You know, these guys live, like, what? Within a hundred feet of each other? Well, not a hundred feet. I think of a football field at most, and they can't talk to each other. I already said that you could sell a new boat to him. I'm sorry, but I don't have any boats for sale. Although, I could order one for you. It won't be very cheap, unfortunately. How much? 12,000 moons. What? That's ridiculous. I don't see how it could cost you more than 5,000 moons to order one. There's shipping costs and taxes to pay, and I need to keep some for myself, of course. I'll sell one for 9,000 moons. That's the best price you'll find. No way. I'm your friend, Bubble. Surely you can give me a cheaper rate. Alright, alright. 8,000 moons is the final price. Forget about it. I'll just convince Iris that he doesn't need a new boat. Okay, he got me. 7,000 moons and no lower. Make it hard for me, Luna. Sounds like a reasonable price. I'll go and tell Artis. And you know what the sad part is? He won't even want the boat anymore. Did she get a good deal? Of course, but I'll order you a new boat for 7,000 moons. <sighs> That's still more than I had in mind. His opening price was 12,000 moons. I must have underestimated how much a new boat would cost. I'll save up some more money and buy one later. Tell Bo I can't afford one at the moment. I'll reward you when you come back. No problem. Of course, by the time we get back there, Bobo's already ordered the boat! You know, mate, I'll get the money, I'll buy the boat. Good news, Lonos, I've just ordered the boat for Artis. Er, about that, there's something I need to tell you. What's that? Artis can't afford it yet, he's going to save money and buy it later. Oh. Well, the boat is being sent to me as we speak. He'll buy it another time. You better tell him that I expect him to buy it. Just as soon as he has enough money. Why am I acting as the middle woman between these two anyway? I told Bo you would buy it later. He'd already ordered a boat for you. I'll definitely plan on buying it sometime. Thanks for all your help, Luna. Here are 10 energy potions for negotiating such a good price with Bobo. Thanks. Let's head back. Yeah, I know this game is very boring and slow at the start. Actually, it doesn't get much better because we're going to be doing lots of running around. <sighs> yeah, complete quest to receive items in my butt. Updates on YouTube for my own analytics to look at just yet. No, it ain't worth burning a potion to get here just a couple seconds quicker. Because I think you get full energy after you talk to Matt anyway, so. Oh, good, you brought the potions. Thanks, these will be very helpful. You're welcome. Now you're here, I have another problem. One of my pets ran away. I guess I wasn't careful enough. Do you have an idea where it could be? He ran towards the park. Could you ask the people there? Maybe someone saw him. Sure. Excellent. He's very important to me. What does he look like? Well, he's blue in color. 
blue. How unusual. He's a very rare pet. One of a kind. I'll try my best to find him. Great, bring him back as soon as you do. Much of advice to give you anyway. It wouldn't bug me so much if these loading screens weren't so long. Like I said, I'll try to cut them out in future episodes, but this episode, I want to establish just how annoying they are to me, at least personally. Oh, he didn't restore energy. Well, being a jerk, I'm just gonna walk then. Oh, you seen a blue pet recently? I'm looking for Mets last. Oh no. I mean, yes, I saw it. I'm just a bit distracted right now. What's the matter? My kitten is on top of the tower and she won't come down. I'm sure there's some way to get her down. Well, we could build a tower of pillows on the train that she can jump. Please, Bo, calm down. I don't understand what you're talking about. Let me show you. It'll be easier to understand. This is another mini game. You can make money doing it too. Fair damage train. Move the white dot using the left analog stick on to stick to the green area. But do not touch the walls of the tunnel. Second pillow is on the train to save the kitten. And every now and again, the um, tracks won't switch either. So you gotta use the right analog stick. And there's a time limit on this game. Sad part is you can beat this game almost as fast as it takes to load, ironically. Yeah, I'm getting a bit rusty at this. Oh no, it seems that the automatic center rotator is broken. Now it has to be rotated manually. I hope you'll be managed to rotate properly and the train will get... Rotate the rail center using the right analog stick. Oh no, not now. Train's battery is failing. It has to be charged for train to function properly. Train didn't break though. Oh, I gotta hit the button to advance. <sighs> I spent about thirty seconds loading the game again. Thank you. 
Thank you, Luna. That's so... That's, thanks so much for your help. Ugh. Glad that I could help get your kitten back. So, what about Matt's blue pet? Did you see it? Yes, he's in my castle. Great, Matt's going to be very happy. I'm sorry, but I can't give the pet to Matt. But, why? It's his pet, after all. Well, is there something I should know? Luna, your uncle Matt... He's performing horrible experience on his pets. I saw him catch a cute animal and turn it into a monster. No way. He's a very kind man. He would never do anything like that. I know it's hard to believe, but it's the truth. You're wrong. I refuse to believe that he's a bad person. That's why I can't give you the pet. I'll ask Matt about the experiments. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Reasonable? Depends on what your um, definition of reasonable is here. Yeah, stop playing mini games to earn more moons and buy stat increasing items and accessories. Mm hmm. I should say accessories for your pet because he can buy equipment for him. Oh, well, it's not you're doing experiments on pets. Horrible experiments, I see. Is this true? I have a clear goal, and it must reach it, whatever the cost. So it's true. I didn't know you are such an evil man. Relax, Luna. There are plenty of pets in the world. Who cares if I use some of them? They are living creatures, just like you and me. Can't you understand that? We are smarter than all of them. I don't see the problem with using them. You've changed since you started mining here. And it's not just your skin. Your mind is completely cracked. That's quite enough, Luna. Did you find the runaway pet? Yes, I did. Great. Where is he? I won't let you harm innocent creatures. You're not getting him back. But, but he's my pet. You have no right to keep him from me. I don't care. I will protect him from you. Is that so? Then I will unleash all of my monsters into the world. They will break. They will wreak havoc and mayhem until I get my pet back. Uh oh. I better report all this to the ancient spirits. You should be waiting for me in Luna's bedroom. Why is he in her bedroom? That was a creep. And this is where the running comes in handy. So we can try and get to our house. As until we get the blue pet, we can't fight back. Yeah, it's gonna take like 30 seconds to load the entrance into the house, too. Oh, man. I mean, for a game that doesn't have such a large area to it, I don't understand why it takes so long to load everything. This game had to have been designed like this on purpose. I mean, there's this this level of incompetence can't be um just the result of chance and coincidence. It has to be on purpose. Right now at the foot of our bed. He's even more creepy. You have learned much about this world, young spirit. I had no idea that Luna's uncle was so wicked. He was so friendly when I first met him. Something in the mind must be scrambling his brains. Some kind of terrible power. If he continues with his experience, he may lose his mind completely. And you want me to stop him? Indeed. That's why I'm sending you back to Dazzlon. You need to learn more about these experiments and drive Matt out of the mine for good. I won't let you down. First, Luna should get the blue pet from Bobo. Then she can use it to negotiate with Matt. Yep, we came here just to learn that. Loading, 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 lo loading. Loading, 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 loading. <coughs> Sorry. Ugh, oh, man. Still got loading to do. Loading. Come on, just a little bit more. Don't crash on me now. 
This game can do that. That's why you should save somewhat regularly. That way you don't lose all your data. Last thing you want to do is find out your game crashed where you got every, got to save after you put a bunch of levels on your pet. Ooh, it's an even nastier pet. Sad part is there's probably going to be pets waiting for me in here, too! Hungry pets have reduced maximum health in battles. So that's why you should feed your pet on occasion. Mm hmm. Ah, he stole my money. I'll just take the hit. I mean, I can always get back the 300 and something moons I lost. Bobo, you are right about Matt's experiments. I'll try my best to stop them. But I will need the blue pets. Okay, I'll give them to you if you make me a promise. Anything. You must not return him to Matt. I promise you that I won't let anything bad happen to him. His name is Comey. Please take good care of him. Thank you so much. Now to go bug Matt that we have his pet, but he can't have it yet. wasn't fast enough. Well, this time ours filled first attacks, so that's why agility is important in this game. You may choose attack or defense options using directional buttons and confirming with an X. There are three attack types and three defense types. If you're defending, your goal is to guess the defense type that corresponds to your opponent's chosen attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, each monster's attack power ends in with a white attack, so... Yeah, you basically can infinitely fill it if you know what you're doing. Or win. Depending on whose health bar is empty. Hopefully this fight goes somewhat quickly. Oh, who am I kidding? This file is going to take several minutes, probably. Being level 1 sucks. of fast attacks early on. Uh. We're going to take care of the broken healing system to win this fight. <laughs>
a real mess up on this. We're going with white. Oh yeah, we barely scratched him. Plus ten. Please don't be white. Yeah, if you do small inner circles, you um, can really quickly recharge your bar. Use a strong attack. <sighs> Guessed it again. attack. Ow. Being wrong on those really bites. Parents are reset somewhere I get yellow. Try and super tech again. Like I said, this fight's gonna take a while. Being a weak pet right now in a fight against a monster this strong sort of sucks. If I really infinitely recharge my sh health points, I got the advantage here. guess this and I can actually pierce for some damage for a change. Access the white attack early and smash him with it. Oh, the next one's gonna be white. Duh. Don't wanna work right now, huh? Another one. Sometimes it doesn't wanna take for some reason. Heal after this, though. Enough healing. <sighs> I really need some more freaking attack. 
attack power. Oh, he didn't block yellow for a change. How long has this fight been going on for now? Come on, don't block this and die. Seriously. Sweet, finally. Okay, it's knocked out, but... Man, that fight took forever. I only got one level up. <laughs> I'm crying on the inside, man. And no, I'm not sure what sort of update bases I'm going to have on this. I'm probably going to end up going weekly. Because that's usually how I run most of my Let's Play, is weekly updates so I can work on multiple Let's Plays at the same time. This does mean the game may not be finished for months, though. <sighs> What's that on your back? That's my blue pet. Give him back to me, please. His name is Comey. I promise to protect him, I'll keep my word. But I won't harm him. My experiments will only make him stronger. Of course, it may change his looks, but who cares about that? There must be some other way. My experiments are the best method. You can't argue with the results. I won't believe that. I'll train Comey myself and make him stronger than all of your monsters. <laughs> what? You're not joking? You have no chance of succeeding at all. It's hopeless. If you believe that, then why don't you have a fair why don't we have a fair duel? Your monster against my Comey. If I win you must tell me everything about your experiments, and leave the mine forever. Hmm. I like the idea of a duel, but even if my monster loses, however unlikely that is, even then I'll only describe the experiments. I can't afford to leave when I'm so close to reaching my goal. Well okay, deal. But if you lose, Comey is mine. What? I, I don't have any other choice, do I? None at all. Fine, I'm sure we'll win anyway, somehow. I can't wait to see you fail. Ha. I'll return for the duel once I finish training Comey. I'm gonna go save. Yeah, this is gonna be um, game episode over. Because for now, at this point, I'm gonna have to go train. And train. And train. And quite frankly, training in this game is really boring to watch. Because all the fights are long lengthy and tedious like that first fight was. Eventually they start getting easier, but you have to really jack up your levels and basically overpower everything with sheer level strength. We'll get to that point, though. Uh, but until next time, call the, we can call this um my sign-off. See you then.